Listing on Etsy can be extremely time consuming, especially when you're consistently trying to get up new listings with good photos and good SEO. And I have people tell me all the time that they love designing and creating for Etsy, but they absolutely hate the listing part. So today we're gonna to talk about my top tips to speeding up this process to get up your listings correctly and quickly. My first tip is use competitors for SEO. People often try to overdo it when it comes to their research to create creating each and every single individual listing. I know a lot of people that say they research every single keyword that they add to their title and their tags so that they're finding and using keywords that have high search but low competition. My problem with this is you want to be more focused on putting in keywords and tags that people are actually going to search on Etsy. If you are putting in super long tail keywords that actually don't even match the product that you've already created, then it doesn't matter. It's not going to sell anyway. So instead I do all my research on just picking the niches that I'm going to design in. And you can watch, I have tons of videos on how I pick niches, but then once I actually pick my niche, what I'm doing is I'm using competitors tags to get inspiration to use for my design. And let me show you what I mean. So say I've already done my research and I know I want to make a mom volleyball shirt. I've already created the design and I know my first keyword then should be mom volleyball shirt. But what else am I going to use in my titles and my tags? What I'm gonna do on Etsy is I'm going to search my main keyword, volleyball mom shirt, and I'm gonna use the people who are ranking on page one and see what other tags and titles they are using. I am gonna make sure I am not using people who are using an ad because they are not ranking organically for this keyword. So you can see here the ones that say ad, I'm going to ignore those and I'm gonna click on the ones that are ranking high organically, like this one. You can see they are using volleyball mom shirt, volleyball shirt, Gift for mom, volleyball mom, game day shirt, mom shirt, mom life, funny shirt, Mother's Day shirt. If you scroll down to explore related searches, you can also see the tags that they've used. And from here, I'm gonna grab the ones that are relevant to also my design. I'm not copying their design. This is just a similar niche that we're designing in. So their tags might not be the exact same ones that we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a few from here that also match what we are selling. And then we're gonna go back to the search page and then we're gonna find another one. Say we're going to pick this one here instead. Same thing, I'm gonna go through what they're using and grab the ones that are also relevant to my product. These are keywords that people are already ranking high for and are consistently being searched. These people are usually big stores that have already done their research and learned about SEO. So instead of you trying to figure out and doing research for every single keyword that you're gonna be plugging into your listing, why not grab inspiration from what's already working? And the key here to being successful is again, doing your research for your niches and focusing on that research more so than every single individual keyword that you'll be using within that listing. My second tip is use templates. Description templates, customer service templates. I have a different description template for every single different product that I offer so that when I'm listing, I can just copy and paste it. And then I just change the top sentence or two for my SEO for that exact listing. I've also compiled a list of all the common questions or issues that I get on Etsy. And then I have created a canned response. Of course, I'm going to change it up again, depending on the situation, but that way I am not constantly trying to figure out what to say or trying to remember what I said to the last person to make it consistent. And this has really helped my customer service game. And the third type of template that I have is for my reviews. I often ask people to leave a review and I've written up a paragraph that I just copy and paste every single time. I batch ask people for reviews. And for me, I do change it up a bit. The only thing I add in is that I change the name out, but yours could even be just, hey there. So you can just copy and paste it to all your recent deliveries asking for a review, which if you don't do, do it because it really helps your store. My third tip is keep everything in one Canva file. And for some people, this might seem obvious, but for some reason I did not think to do this until my friend told me to do it. And instead I just had to keep opening tons of different Canva files to make any changes 
versus now I can add them all to one and save it as one and upload it as one. So this is what I'm talking about. If you are doing print on demand or you are doing any product that requires maybe just a few changes to a photo or you're using some templates, then just keeping them all together is super helpful. Because I'm doing print on demand, I use mockups. So what I've done in a file is uploaded all of my mockups. So when I'm adding a design, I can just keep copying and pasting it and then saving them all together in one zip file. And I only have to save it once. I even include putting in my thank you note and my size chart, which I include in every single t-shirt listing. And yes, before I had these all in separate files, meaning I had to keep re-uploading the file, keep downloading all the files, keep searching for all of the files. And I've had students tell me that they've done this too. So it might seem obvious to some of you, and I hope this is a game changer for the rest of you. My fourth Fourth tip is using platforms like Vela for bulk changes. Etsy does have a bulk edit feature if you wanna change things like prices and certain things like descriptions, but if you are finding that you need to change something in a bulk manner and you cannot do it through Etsy, there is a platform called Vela. So from Vela, you're able to create Etsy listings. You can edit Etsy listings. You can pretty much do everything that you needed to do in Etsy from Vela, which is connected to your Etsy shop. You can see here, I've selected all my listings for my CU Online mockups site, and you can change the photos, titles, descriptions, tags, materials, about, production partner, category, section, personalization, and digital files in a bulk manner. This was extremely helpful for me when I wanted to add in an additional photo to all of my listings. It was just like a thank you slide, but on Etsy, I would have had to go into every single one of those listings and add it in versus with Bella, I was able to quickly add it all together in one, which sped up the process like crazy. You can add it by some, you can do listing by listing, or at the top here, if you hit add, it's going to apply that to all of the listings that you have selected. If you just wanted this to be on some of your products and you don't wanna go search through all your Etsy listings, you can actually filter by your section or filter by your tag. So if I wanted to make a change to every single one of my Bella Canvas mockups, you can bulk add and remove tags. So maybe if you had some products that might be good for Mother's Day, you can add in the Mother's Day tag, but just when Mother's Day is coming up. And then once it's done, you can remove it again and replace it with maybe a different holiday keyword like Christmas gift for mom, which might be more helpful for the future. If you missed adding in some attributes like materials or holiday, you can also add those in bulk. This is paid though. They do have a seven day free trial, which I actually used when I needed to make that one really, really built bulk update, which was changing all of the photos. So I kind of just used the free trial for the seven days and then canceled my subscription. And I've gone in and done that a few times where if I just need it for a month to make a bulk change like this, then I'll resubscribe. But if it's something that you see yourself consistently using, it's not that expensive with the Vela Lite being only $5 and then Vela Plus is $10 a month. My fifth tip is using print on demand. This is more for people who haven't even started their Etsy store and don't know where they're gonna take it exactly yet. But if you are still deciding, why not checking out print on demand? Print on demand means you are using suppliers like Printify to print and ship your orders for you. So they have tons of products like t-shirts, mugs, tumblers, sweatshirts, thousands of products that if you were gonna sell and try to create them yourself, it's gonna take a lot of time versus these suppliers print and ship it for you. And they also mark your Etsy order as complete and updating with tracking information. So you don't have to do anything once you get a sale. And my sixth tip, which is a little bit more tailored depending on what you sell is duplicating your listings. This is actually if you are not selling print on demand, but you are selling products that are extremely similar to one another, then try duplicating them instead of starting fresh for each listing. I do this with that store I showed you earlier, which is my digital download mock-up store. I just duplicate each listing so I don't have to consistently fill out the exact same things over and over and over again, and I don't even have to go grab my templates. All I have to do is duplicate, change out one photo because two of my photos stay the same on every single listing, which is my information photos. But I only have to slightly change the title, slightly change the descriptions, and everything is marked down already. All right, thank you guys so much, and let me know in the comments below if there's anything you're gonna start doing after watching this video. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.